know basics of optometry is at your fingertips. Like and subscribe the channel to know more. Hello all. So uh, in a sign up to for what we are going to do. First we are going to measure the objective and subjective angle of deviation with the help of the simultaneous macular perception slides which are shown in my first video on sign up to 4 right so then next what we are going to do we are how we are going to measure that uh, objective and subjective angle of deviation we are going to measure the objective and subjective angle of deviation with the help of the simultaneous macular perception slides okay so we uh, the we put the slide of lion in one side in front of the right eye and the cage in front of the left eye and ask the patient whether the patient can see the lion inside the cage if the patient can't see the lion inside the cage that time we need to we need to find out the objective and subjective angle of deviation so we ask the patient to move the left arm of the sign up to four okay and then to bring so that the he can bring the line inside the cage in the sign up to 4 so basically this is a subjective angle of deviation and objectively if we are doing we can also uh, like objectively if we are moving and doing we can measure the objective angle of deviation another method of objective angle of deviation is with the help of cover test so for the cover test there are two buttons in front of the sign up to 4 uh, so those two buttons we have to press it alternatively and see the eye movements okay so if the if we see that one eye is going out uh, from inside that means the patient is having esophoria if one eye is coming in from outside that means the patient is having exophoria so how we can uh, do the cover test and find out the objective angle of deviation in sign up to four see we have placed that simultaneous macular perception slides lion on one side and cage in another side patient is uh, as, and asking i'll ask the patient whether he can see the line inside the cage or not if he can't find the lines inside the cage it is slightly uh, outside the cage okay then we can perform a cover test now while performing a cover test we will see that alternate cover test we are performing we can see that there is due to heterophoria there will be movement of the eyes either from inside to outside or from outside to inside so what we can do we can ourselves rotate one the arm of the sign up to four one arm of the sign up to four will keep it fixed the other arm we will rotate it okay and then see when the patient is having there is no movement in cover test basically we are getting the orthophoria if we are getting orthophoria that means we have find out found out the objective angle of deviation now in the sign up to four we can find that recording okay so this way we can find the objective and subjective angle of deviation we can perform the cover test at distance and near for performing cover test at near we need to put minus three lenses in front of the sign up to four uh, this in that lens case uh, the place where we can place that lenses okay so we can do the cover test with the help of sign up to 4 we can measure the negative fusion versions and positive fusion versions with the help of nine sign up to 4 there are abduction and adduction keys how to measure nfp pfp will come up in the next video till then thank you